All right, folks. We've been slowly doing some moving. It's uh, still a ways to go, but as I don't need stuff, I just keep throwing them on a pallet, and then when I go to the other shop, I throw it out over there. So there's actually a lot of room in here now. So you can see we, uh, I threw the top on just to, to mock it up a little bit. It's, uh, I like the look. I think I gotta redo the whole top, but overall that's the look I'm going for. You can also see with the wheel, I had, uh, I shuffled it ahead. I'm thinking we're gonna have to like three to four inches like actually shorten this wheelbase. Reasoning why I'm saying that is it just seems a little long in the back. And uh, the way I want to do a bed, I want to make a bed that kind of like folds down. Like we're not running, I'm going to end up building a bed for the truck. We're going to stick with these fenders, but I think we need the wheelbase to be smaller. Because I think the top rail is going to be something like that. And then I want this to taper down and then we'll have a custom back end in it. Um, so it'll end up making this look really long. I had a friend send me a picture of a truck and it was exactly the truck that I was thinking about. So I'm gonna to try to put a picture here. I think it's from Starlight Customs. Um, he built this truck and I don't know where or when I seen it. it, must've been one of the magazines, but you can see where I got the idea. Like it was like a service box or something. Um, I don't wanna do the same back end treatment like it's got, but I do like the idea, the way the bed flows. I'm not sure if it'll work anyways. What I did is I got some inch and a quarter conduit. We have that. And I have a whole bunch of these. So the idea, when we get to it anyways, is going to be, I just want everything rounded. I don't know if it'll have pockets. So from this angle, you have to imagine why this looks bigger. Like now if this bed rail kind of followed, did that kind of a swoop. Even if it went to the end of the box, I think it makes this look too big. So I just want to shorten this a little bit. As long as my top fits in there and some luggage, I'm good. But yeah, I have to get this out. We're going to have to make up some window templates the way I want my windows to be. To which then I can roll them up and then we can make this top fit it. I want the door to be a little open close. I want it to seal up. Uh, that's the big picture there. We'll need some kind of a header, maybe a wooden header that sits on top of here that'll like lock down over top of the window and things. I have a few ideas, but not getting to that right now. I think this round we're gonna basically clean this up, buzz this thing shut so we can smooth it out. I guess ideally you guys should cut it out. Eh, maybe we'll cut it out. I don't see where I would use the vent. That's why I would just weld it in there. We'll see. If I take this out, I can probably just make something and weld it on flush. Um, and then I'd like to get the pedals in. Pedals and possibly hook up the steering would be awesome. I know this column, I still want to do, like I want to do a column shift off the top here. So we do that. That's my plan. Whether that happens right now, I don't know. Let's see here. Let's pop the hood open and see what we got going on underneath here. Oh man, I got steering bits in here. This shouldn't be too hard. We got extra parts, so we don't need that. We have a steering column. That looks like that's just gonna go straight there. So that's good, and then we gotta figure out a brake pedal assembly. We gotta get that in there. Get that out of the way. We'll get this stuff off, clean this up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's about where we're gonna start. So, uh, let's start with the cowl vent. I just want that done and that's all smoothed out and then we'll work on brakes. We'll do that one.
So we got this tacked in. I'm gonna fully weld it, but this one being a flatter panel, I'm gonna take a lot more time to weld this in. I know a lot of people see me just blitzing things like when I was doing inside the truck. Uh, I was doing like a lot of solid welding and it's mostly, I don't know, you have to use a really good judgment of where. I have a lower heat setting, so like I've just welded this, I can hold this all, so I know I can kind of go another round or half a round, not a problem. But I just get away with more because here there is so much curve to weld this. With the heat setting that I'm using anyways, um, I know it's, it's minimal. It does get warm, don't get me wrong, but the chances of something with this much curve in it to warp is very slim. That's not to say to go at it just full burn, but anyway, so I, I'm just taking a little more time because I don't want to have to put tons of fill on this. We kind of want to schmooze it. And uh, I could have welded this in, but the gaps were just pretty big everywhere. So me, this has got a good fit. You see me, I got it pretty close. The front part was really good. So I just used my screwdriver to make sure everything was level. I just kept pushing it down. We zapped that. And then after I was just lifting the panel a little bit and then hitting it with my, my grinding disc just to cut it back. So it's got a perfectly flush uh, gap. So technically if I weld it, <laughs> in a perfect world if you welded it you could probably get away with a bit of high build that's not my world but but anyways we got we got to continue on with that and then uh, we'll move on to something else oh I did bring in you can see I'm still slowly packing here uh, I did bring in my uh, the brake pedal assembly I think I'm gonna use I have no idea what this thing's off of but I think it should work uh, well, judging by the, the pedal, this thing came out of a van. So we might have to modify some stuff here. Get rid of some, there's probably too much height. We'll get rid of that. I have tons of these S10 pedals, but I'm actually, like, this section of it's, like, gone. I got boosters and this. I'm running really low on these pedal assemblies. I'm gonna have to start designing something up on the plasma table. I think I have a drawing somewhere where the newer S10s, where this section is, like, a part of the firewall. The 90s stuff. I think I had one where I just took the pin and the pedal out and then I made my own bracket that I could pin and then I can use the booster assembly, but anyways. Enough babble. Let me get back to welding. <laughs> Well, that worked out pretty good. It's not perfect. You can see we've actually we got a gap like way back here. Over here is not bad. This side you can tell I goofed up a little bit. So it's nothing major. So I'm just gonna sweat myself over it. Even there, I don't know. For some reason, it got a little high. And whatever, we're gonna have to schmooze it. So not a biggie. Got that done. I'm just gotta zap this thing. It's a tiny little pinhole there we gotta get to. And then, I've been shuffling some loads out of here, but next we're gonna get to seeing how this thing fits under the floor. And 
if I can keep the whole darn thing or not. I guess because this pedal came out of a van, this bolted up to the firewall somewhere. If it doesn't interfere with anything under my hood, I'll just leave it. I guess I could mount it really anywhere, like where my motor is going to be, it's going to be quite a ways down. So normally I kind of mount these things up pretty high, but maybe I'll just mount it a little lower if everything else works. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot, eh, bud? Sound like a plan? Hang on. You want a treat? Oh, yeah. You're all about that, eh? Let's do a treat. <laughs> All right, we got that thing bolted in. I think we got it a little bit out, but the pedal looks straight in the truck, so <laughs> I went with that. But anyways, this is in, it is bolted. We still have to make a mount or some way to fasten this thing to the steering column, but I don't think I'm gonna touch it right now because there's just gonna be a little bit of flex into this thing. So I'm gonna wait until I do my shift thing shaft here because it's going to have to go through. We're going to have to make a little bit of room in this thing so we can go through to through the firewall and then we can make a shift lever out down there. Other than that though, this is pretty good. Up there we got clearance for under, you know, to get our wiper motor out, some things like that. Uh, so I guess we'll leave this as it is for now. I don't want to squeeze it because I know there's some juice in the uh, master pedal there in the assembly. So I don't want to make a big mess, but we'll have to test after to make sure when I push this all the way down that my pedal bottoms out before it hits the floor. Just to make sure we get the full swing out of this thing. My feet are kind of big, so that pedal looks a little high, but for me anyways, when I am on the pedal, 
it feels like it's in a good place. Right now, this is where it proves that this truck cab is, uh, I need the extra little bit of room because right now if I got to hit the brake, well, it's not terrible, but no, that's actually pretty good. But this is where my leg's a little too crooked. I'd rather be a little bit straighter for myself. So we need a, a thinner seat. That's still the goal, right? You're here for snacks? Hey, supper's not for a little bit, bud. <laughs> I don't know that I'll use this one, but. It's easier to pull the whole thing out than it is to just cut the end off and have to booger the one on the truck. So I've been rummaging around outside. I kind of just needed the screws, but I just took that lower piece off the other car. We grabbed the shifter out of it because I cut my other one up. I don't know where it is. I, uh, I pulled this shift knob off of it and now we have this thing all together. What we got to do is, oh, and I actually pulled the lower bracket so I can bolt the steering column in right. So we got that all from our parts car. So I'm going to do is uh, bust my zip ties through this loop up here. I'm going to make sure that I got enough room that we can run our shifter through the firewall. I don't have a provision for it. And I think what I got to do is find uh, like a pillow bearing or I'm going to find something to hold the bottom of this shaft to the firewall. Because uh, I'm not using the mechanism on the bottom like the, 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 the tree shifter. So I'll find a way to hold that, that way we can do a linkage. This thing will still do its push-pull, so we'll figure out a way to do a safety thing. That'll be down the road. For now, I just want it on there and in place. Steering column where I think is good. I still have to find myself uh, a seat. I might have a lead on one. So i kind of been moving this one around, but this one's just not going to work for me. Anyways, uh, I'm going to drop that. And uh, I guess we'll get started figuring that out, because once we get that shaft going through the column will be able to mount the the find a way to mount the mass the brake cylinder the to the steering column so i want to kind of clamp it to there or bolt it or something so that when you push the pedal it's uh it's kind of just working everything's fighting itself and not like hodging out your firewall So we had to make a bigger hole in the bottom. I'm not even going to look at this yet because I don't know how to space this out. I ended up having to drop the steering column a little bit more because, let me turn the light on here. You can see I drilled a hole but it ended up, oh, can't see, I drilled a hole up there but it ended up like dead smack in the middle of the brake booster. Uh, so I ended up bringing the steering column down a little bit and we're going to run what's going to be my shifter through there. 
So this will be my shifter. We have the steering column mounted. It's not tight. Like there's still everything kind of still can wiggle around here. Because once I get the different seat, I want to know how close I want the wheel to me. So eh. we'll leave everything loose for now. So we won't deal with the steering. We won't deal with any of that stuff. But we got at least it in. We pulled this off the other car, like I said. So this thing will work with, we'll make some kind of an indent thing to do with the lockout for neutral, things like that. Uh, I think what we're gonna play with for now is gonna be this center post. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, so we're gonna actually do it. Uh, a lot of folks had mentioned ideas and it's pretty good. I was gonna just glue it, but it would be pretty ugly. So I think I'm gonna salvage from I don't have, but I'll have to find where the center bar goes in. So I think we'll make a V with the option that I can possibly screw that other one down or we'll glue it in, I don't know. Maybe we'll just make a V for the glass to fit. That's similar to this whole track here. And we'll end up putting some kind of a divider on here just to separate the windows so it's just not a big ugly glue mark in the middle. We're close. Also, if you've noticed, the shop is getting much, much emptier. I've uh, been on the slow, slow burn of keep moving stuff. Uh, where are we at now? We got our boiler. No, all the elect, everything electric is done. Uh, like you've seen that it had lights working, things like that. Um, the boiler's in and technically should work. We're hoping tomorrow the boiler turns on and our hydro, our electricity company, hopefully they come in, give us some powers, like it's even a temporary service till they, they gotta do some more stuff outside, but hey, hopefully, hopefully next video is the move-in video. Uh, I have been pretty much doing a lot of that already, but all right, let's get, let's get back to the center post. Let's finish that up. As much as I'd like to give you guys a sneak peek. <laughs> the shop's not ready yet. <laughs> stomp shear so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> See if we've nailed the angle. Can't touch the glass because we're gluing. Hmm. I can't tell for sure. Hmm. I think we just gotta fold the edges.
Well, we got the center bar all welded in. It's uh, a little bit overlap, but it's got it's a good uniform and everything else to be able to glue to. So I didn't touch the top because I don't know where I got to trim this in relation. That's why I had the plywood on there. I was kind of checking, but uh, eh, yeah, it is what it is. It'll a little fill while we do the dash and a few things. It'll be fine. Um, we should be taking all this junk off too. I think these are like for some bigger mirrors because I think this used to be a heavy truck, but... Well, yesterday we got this all done. Uh, welded in. Not, uh, I didn't get it quite smooth. I had to take it to my little table and hammer tap it because my, uh, press over here, or my, my brake, I guess got pretty, got a little warped or something. You can see I got a... It's tight in the corners, like this thing, I almost need to have a band here with a nut to push everything tight again. I couldn't get a very tight radius bend, so we basically just hammer formed it over the workbench. So we got that going. Um, I think the next step, what I want to do here is the floors are pretty much done. Other than uh, behind here, give you a little light. We have this opening down here where we channeled the body. So I know I've had Ryder make me some patches before. I was going to get him to weld him in, but I guess I'm going to tack him in quick. So he made me one for the lower and then one on top. So we're going to tack that stuff in. And then I guess I'll pull this seat out and clean the inside out. We picked up some. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Where do I cap the whole top? Now I don't know. Now we should close that in. I'd like to cap the top, but... Eh. Once we zap those, this thing will be... That'll be sealed up. It'll be good. Uh, picked up some of this today. Which is... It's like... I don't know. It's from Dominion Sure Seal, but it's like uh, 450. So... I ran out, we need some of that. We're gonna basically paint the floor up. I won't worry too much about around the steering column because we're gonna have to make a bracket that will bolt onto the steering column once I know the depth that I want. And uh, then we'll make something to hold the shifter to work as well. All right, well, let's pull this stuff out. Clean up, give that a quick vacuum out and then uh, we'll zap in those patches. I think somewhere I still have some seam sealer. Maybe. <laughs> it might be in the other garage. We might have to do that later. All right, let's get this stuff out.
Well, folks, ta-da. We got paint on the floor. I didn't go too nuts back here. I don't want to scrape this yet. We'll probably put some sound deadening on it. That is the plan. Probably still have to pull off that stuff, like the wind lace thing. Either way, she's painted. Uh, and hardly, probably used about a quarter of that can. This stuff goes like a long way, that's for sure. So, I don't know what I'm doing next. I'm really hoping that the next video is going to be our move-in, but we're still waiting for a power company, so, I mean, I've almost got everything moved out of here. <laughs> I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot. Uh, they're hoping it's going to be this week yet, so, I don't know. Cross my fingers, it'll happen. But, I've made some good progress. We have to figure some way to strip this thing down. So we can do a bit of body work eventually here. I want to do a little bit at a time, like I said before, so it's not like overwhelming when I just decide to do the whole dang truck. I do have to work with this, but I'd like to do this in the new shop. Along with this, I guess you probably should actually try to bang this out. Diapers, eh? That's pretty banged up. Anyways, folks, like I said, I'm hoping next round we're actually moving into the shop. That would be nice. I know there's a few loose ends we were doing. Um, we just got heat in there. Uh, but again, everything, because it's propane, everything can run off an extension cord right now. So that's about the extent of where we're at. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we uh, get going in there. Um, we picked up not that long ago, a little while ago anyways, we picked up a wildfire lift. I uh, want to thank all of you guys very much for reaching out to wildfire and getting them on board there and sending us a lift. So that's awesome. And thank you very much everybody who, who reached out to them. And thank you wildfire. Um, yeah, anyways, like I said, as always, folks, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. We're hopefully, we're moving into the shop. <laughs>